When I decided to build a CNC, I had a lot of friends ask me why I want one. You know, there's a lot that I want to do on it, but one of the things I want to do is make very accurate fixtures and jigs and templates. Now, I can make them pretty accurate with traditional woodworking tools, but there are some things that are just far easier to do on the CNC, especially if I'm going for any kind of repeatability. So I thought I'd show some of the table saw fixtures. I'm making, I'm making these in quantity, and there's a uh, there's a few issues that arise in making these. If you've ever used a router and trying to start on a leading edge, I don't know anybody that wants to stick this point into a spinning router. So when I cut this on the CNC, I cut it to the exact size. And then I use the sacrificial piece on each one of them that I do. I screw this into the bottom. I start the router right here, and then I take it off and put it on the next one. And that's not that bad, but it's not ideal. So I decided that I would make them an inch bigger. And now the sacrificial piece is built in, which leads to another step. Now I have to cut that off. So I made a fixture to do that. I also had to make a fixture to cut this taper, which has to be consistent between all the pieces. So I thought I'd show the two fixtures and uh, how I use them. So this one is to cut this taper. It's not very complicated, not very hard to make. I could have made it on the table saw. But it was real easy to cut all of this on the CNC and make the hold down knob. And I've got aluminum channels so as I move this back and forth it stays parallel to this edge. Uh, and it's a simple toggle clamp. locks in and I just set the fence at the right setting, raise the blade, make a cut, flip it around, make another cut, and that way I can leave my blade set at 90 degrees and not have it vary by a tiny amount, even though I use a digital uh, Wixie gauge for the, uh, the blade tilt. This is just far easier to just clamp this in, flip it around. I can do eight of them in just a matter of a few minutes and never change my table saw setting. So that's one of them. The other one, I actually just finished it a few minutes ago, so I haven't even used it. But this is to cut the inch off the bottom. Uh, I cut that on the CNC, the rest of it I just did on the table saw, obviously. So it sets in like that, it's very very snug, it's got about 10 thousandths uh, clearance. Easy to get out, just push down on the taper and I'm good to go. But I got to thinking about this piece that I'm cutting off being captive and not really not really wanting the blade to pick that up and fling it at me or anywhere. If it was free to fall off that'd be different but it's captive and I, I didn't want it to rock back and hit the blade. So 
I'm going to hold down, cut a groove here where the blade will go because I'm only going to raise the blade high enough to clear the top edge. And just like a crosscut sled, I'll cut through this, this, but I'll stop before I get to these braces. So basically, that is going to go where the cut goes. This goes right here. And just a simple cam, now it is locked in tight and nothing's going anywhere. So now I just put this against the fence, set it to cut an inch off, make a pass, take it out, put another one in, and it should be just that simple. I say should be because I haven't used it yet. But we'll go with it's going to be that simple. So anyway, that's two fixtures that I made with the help of the CNC. It's a great tool in the shop, but it is, after all, just another tool. It might be the neatest tool in the shop, but it is just another tool in the shop. Anyway, uh, that's the two fixtures I've made uh, for this project, and uh, hope you get something out of this.
Well, I don't think that could have worked much better. I'm going to go with, uh, that is a functioning fixture. I like it. Now i got to figure out what to do with these. I think those will become a cutting board at some point. That's what those will be. Future cutting board.